And that's it. They say FX Steelers Brooklyn. You don't moto vlog anymore. Why not FX Steelers Brooklyn? I thought you were a moto vlogger. All you do now is just sit on your bike and talk. Well, this one's for you guys. Let's roll. Okay, what's going on YouTube? FX Dallas Brooklyn is back in the building and we are out here with two 2016 Dino Lowrider S's. We have my brother, the man in black, Bong Asphalt. As always, you've seen him a million times on my channel. And as you can see, the bikes are warm. Let's see, how's this? Oh yeah, that's definitely warm. And mine, very warm. I um, actually just cleaned this bike. Shout out to the road captain for giving me a hard time about this bike being filthy since the last two bike trips that we did. That was the FXR Jam and the Lost Highway. Like I said, I hadn't washed it, so the bike was absolutely filthy. And as you know, white shows everything. A couple shout outs on my bike. We have the Pink Panther, right? The Supreme Pin. Uh, thanks for watching my back. You know, he's watching the rear fender. And up front in the cockpit, we have none other than the Devil Chick who is watching out for potholes and helping me navigate these insane streets of New York. So, gotta give her a shout out. Shout out to the company Ultra Cools for sending a brand new bracket for this oil cooler on our Lost Highway trip. If you saw a previous video, this bracket had actually broken off on the highway. Luckily, with some zip ties, we were able to get back and running. They sent me a better, stronger bracket for this in a very timely manner. I like companies that do the right thing, so shout out to you, Ultra Cools. Yeah, I'm sure Bong Asphalt is confused because I am taking it very easy right now. <laughs> The reason being is I just did some chain maintenance for the first time since those two road trips. So it's always a little bit sketchy to have hitting your chain with like three different penetrants and lubricants and you know it's getting all over the rear tire. So I'm not trying to take off real heavily. I'm not trying to lean too hard into any curbs because on this beautiful Saturday in June, I'm trying to avoid a low side despite the motto of this channel, which is stay low. We're trying to stay low, but we're not trying to stay that low. You hear me, my brothers? So yeah, that's what's happening right now. You're probably wondering where are you actually going? FX DLS Brooklyn, who you claim to be a moto vlogger, but you don't actually moto vlog anymore. Well, the plan right now is if you see the previous video, you know that I put those little light strips on the front of my fairing. Um, not, I, I haven't seen anybody else running it in that way, and I like it for the visibility and I like it aesthetically. Well, unfortunately, after doing the electrical work, um, Pretty much immediately after pulling my bike out of the shop over at Rolling Thunder, the right one has just been malfunctioning, has not been turning on. So I hit them up over at Rolling Thunder. You know, Gerard is uh, pretty much my main contact over there, and he was basically just like, bring it back, we'll take care of it on the spot, no questions asked. So appreciate shops that stand behind their work, and in terms of electrical, it's not something I'm trying to get into myself because probably the most rigorous job I've ever done on my bike in terms of electrical was actually relocating these gauges. That was back in 2020. And I definitely felt like I was in over my head at certain points in that job. But I also remember feeling really proud of myself at the end of that job for successfully doing it and you know, hitting that ignition and actually seeing the gauges work from all of my own wrenching. So, took some risks there. Like I said, electrical is usually where I draw the line on bike work, but took some risks and um, actually wound up, exceeded my um, expectations for myself and was able to successfully get that job done because we kept that positive mental attitude like we like to do on this channel of FX DLS Brooklyn. So yeah, that's really my plan right now. Um, it's actually times like this where I, I kind of miss motovlogging because I like to kind of just 
bring you in the rawest form of the ride where I'm just kind of speaking whatever's on my mind as we encounter whatever chaos we encounter out here in New York. Just because, I said this before, just because I have been doing a lot of the videos where I am sitting on the bike, you know, filling you in about this or that does not mean that I've given up on moto vlogging. I still enjoy moto vlogging, especially when I'm riding with my friends, such as the man in black over here with his 2016 Dyna Lowrider S. So yeah, FX Deals Brooklyn is still a moto vlogger, but I also, as y'all know, have diversified my content a little bit. And there's just times where I want to be able to talk about a content and not have to worry about surviving the streets of New York on a Dyna. Can you blame me? Can you blame me? So yeah. A lot of you in the comments section said you want the riding videos. This one is for you. Bike is sounding good as always. Gotta love your SNS 124. Got a little Shriek Glide. Boom. How you feeling, man? Are you good? Oh, and we are off. Let's go easy because we are on a manhole cover. It's one of the first lessons my dad taught me about unexpected tight situations on a motorcycle, which is watch out for those manhole covers, especially when things are slick. That was one of the big ones. One of his, uh, him and one of his longtime road dogs, that was actually how one of his buddies low sided was again, riding over a manhole cover and not, um, you know, identifying the potential threat of that. So I've learned a lot of lessons from my dad and I keep all those lessons in the back of my head, especially when I'm riding, but also when I'm off my bike too. Just general lessons in regards to PMA, hard work, discipline, all that. Most of that comes from my old man, the road captain. But yeah, that's really it, you know? Nothing too crazy. Proud of you, Vong Asphalt. Proud of you. The man in black is ready to roll. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty much like what we got going on today you know what I mean we are like I said gonna take care of some electrical issues and then after that I think what we're gonna do is you know we are out here on Long Island so we're gonna probably go hit up the yay old all-american burger first one of the season actually I haven't been out there yet I'm sure it's gonna be crazy because today is a beautiful day and then after that, I think we are going to be riding east. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe a good old 200 mile day. Probably run out to the Hamptons and back. Just get some good miles. Um, and then I got to get back over here in the afternoon. Believe it or not, I actually have to drop this bike off at the road captain's house. <laughs> who? That's right. I am that classic deadbeat son that... You know, I have, I'll have this Dyna in that garage. I'll have the FXDX in that garage. So I am that classic, that deadbeat son that is filling up his dad's garage with all these barely running Dynas. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. Like I said, this, this Dyna is running pretty good right now, especially after we just changed the bracket that had broken off in that last run. So I should give, I should give my bike more credit than, than I do sometimes. This bike is running very good right now and i'll actually talk about that in another video because you know especially now that i am a lowrider st owner it actually makes me appreciate how far i've taken this dyna lowrider s you know now that i have like modern performance to actually compare it to yeah so that's it we are gonna continue our ride today again all of you who got into my content for the riding content, for the raw moto vlogging, I haven't forgotten y'all as we again make some different moves on this channel. I'm still a moto vlogger at the end of the day, even though I do think that this is probably not the best way to have a conversation, but it is a very good way just to bring you into the life of FX TLS Brooklyn and what some of my rides look like. here in the state of New York. Woo! All right, all right, all right. I thought you said you were going to take it easy. Calm it down. Calm it down, FX Steel Brooklyn. 
Oh, we have a tunnel. You can really hear this exhaust. Bye, oh bye. That, my friends, is what an exhaust should sound like. But yeah, we're gonna keep it moving here. I'm feeling good. The day is absolutely beautiful. Dinas are running great. Um, I'll probably record a couple other little quote unquote moto vlogs for all of you as we continue our ride today. Whether you are riding or whether you are at work catching up on some FX DLS Brooklyn or whether you're just doing something else today, I hope you stay safe and I hope you stay low. Ride Dinas, ride FXRs, ride Lowrider STs. Just make sure that you do ride. And on that, FX Brooklyn is out.